Hello everyone and welcome to the webinar. Today's topic, Raw Power, New Clear Path Forward, Libra is here. Let's get started. Our first presenter for you today is Chuck Lefebvre. He's Director of Clear Path Forward Product Management. And with that, Chuck, the audience is yours. Thank you very much, Matt. And thank you to our audience for joining today. Um, before I, um, before, before Trudy uh, introduces our new product, I'd like to give a, a brief introduction to our uh, overall product strategy, our ClearPath product strategy, to give a little context for how that Libra 8500 fits into that uh, product. So our, our um, agenda for today, as I said, I'm going to give a little bit of an introduction to our strategy. I'll turn it over to Trudy to talk about our new product, the Libra 8500, the largest system uh, with the greatest capacity of any Libra system we've ever, ever introduced. Trudy will then talk uh, about our MCP software series to give a, a context again overall of where we are with our overall product portfolio. And we'll conclude with Steve Koss giving us some insight into our latest services portfolio for our Libra and MCP product set. Uh, so a, a little bit of um, overview of our product strategy. Um, all, most of you, I'm sure, are quite familiar with our Libra and MCP product line, where we position that product, uh, how we see our clients using it, what we feel, and you uh, use that product for what we feel it's, it's best at. Uh, those bullets here haven't changed in recent times. Uh, I'll highlight the bottom two, the secure availability of skills and embrace the digital transformation that our clients are going through as a couple of key things that are relatively new in our strategy and our focus. Um, securing availability of skills, uh, we're, we're addressing that through uh, modern tooling things like Eclipse and Visual Studio. In the MCP case, Visual Studio is a development tool. You'll be hearing in future product announcements how we are uh, changing our software development, our software tooling to make it easy for uh, people with uh, new skills coming out of college to apply those in a ClearPath MCP context. The same for the digital transformation. Uh, clients are using uh, cloud native applications, microservices, and so forth to build systems of engagement uh, in their organization, to power their organization, to make it more agile. And we are ensuring that your system of record that is part of your uh, focus of your ClearPath MCP system can connect to those. So those are a couple of challenges that we believe we are continuing to invest in to address. And our strategy uh, below uh, is meant to address those challenges. Uh, the key one we're, we're uh, focusing on today is more of, of an infrastructure, the second bullet. You'll hear Trudy talk to those in, in, at great length today. Uh, offering the choice of pre-integrated systems, the traditional Libra systems that we've been delivering while also offering the flexibility of deploying that MCP software stack in other places. Trudy will talk to both of those uh, topics today. Um, a little bit more drill down into our strategy. Um, we all know we have transitioned over the past 10 or so years from the use of proprietary technology for Libra system and MCP execution to one where Almost all of our clients have now deployed our Intel-based systems, x86-based. Um, in the next uh, 12, 18 months, it will be universal, and all of our clients will be running on our x86-based platforms. We hope you feel, uh, as we do, that that has been a successful transition. And I think you'll see the Libra 8500 and its performance and capacity are the latest demonstration of that. We're building on that success by giving more flexibility with our software series. 
allowing you to execute your complete MCP software stack on hardware that you choose and on common virtualization platforms such as VMware and Azure. We started with that on our low end of our systems and are slowly building to more comprehensive and complete coverage of our product set. In previous deliveries of that software series, as we delivered those products, we withdrew the corresponding pre-integrated platform. Uh, our strategy has changed now in 20, late 2018 and as we go into 2019, we're going to continue to deliver those pre-integrated platforms along with the equivalent software series to give you the choice of what systems and how you want to deploy. Um, based on the feedback we've gotten, our clients want that choice and we're continuing to offer a full choice, either pre-integrated systems or software series to give you the flexibility of, of where to deploy it. We're gonna continue in the, as we move forward into the future to build on that virtualization layer and take that software series to be able to execute in various uh, public cloud and hybrid cloud situations. Uh, we're gonna do that based on market demand, where we see our clients moving. So if that is a, a priority for your organization, we want to hear about that. Uh, contact your Unisys sales uh, executive and, and they will get in touch with myself and my team and we can use that as prioritizing how and where we deliver. In the middle section of this chart, we're talking about um, a little more detail on how we're, how we're delivering this. Uh, starting on the right with security, maintaining that as we go, maintaining the scalability and automation. Really the, the item at the top, the integration with everything is um, a, a focus area. So not only do we want to allow you to change where you execute your MCP software stack, allowing you to execute on alternate hardware platforms uh, that you choose that are x86 based and in public clouds. We want to help you evolve how it's executed, allowing it to integrate through REST APIs, uh, for example, uh, those application components in your system of record to allow it to execute with those new systems of engagement. And we're gonna do that and allow, um, uh, ha have our services team uh, help you do that through various forms of application enrichment, product implementation, and managed services. Steve will talk about that in more detail, so I won't touch on it uh, anymore in my comments. Um, that leaves us with, you know, the key products that we're delivering. Uh, on the left, the systems, the, the ClearPath Forward systems uh, that uh, both, as we said, in integrated, pre-integrated fashion and in the software series, the application integration, automation, uh, and development software, uh, a key focus for us in the middle, and Steve's services uh, that he's going to be talking about in a little bit. Um, one of the things that is absolutely critical for us, and we believe for you, as we continue with this evolution, allowing you the flexibility of executing in new places and in new ways, that we maintain this significant success that we've had in security. We uh, demand that the way from our engineering teams, the way we implement these systems uh, are such that we're gonna keep that number one position at the top of this list. At the top means good, fewest number of, ver of vulnerabilities. The data compiled here, I'm sure many of you have seen this chart, it comes from a NIST national database. We harvest the data and create this slide, but the raw data isn't ours. It comes from the NIST database. And as we evolve to give you the flexibility to execute in different places and in different ways, we're committed to maintaining our position at the top of this list. So that is my uh, quick intro on our strategy. 
I'm going to turn it over now to Trudy Whitener, who is our product manager for our Libra and MCP software system, software series, and have her go into the details of our new product. Trudy? Thank you very much, Chuck. I appreciate the introduction. Um, it's really Great to see so many familiar names uh, of clients and, and people that are on the call today. Thank you so much for attending. We're really excited about the Libra 8500 and being able to introduce it um, in 2019. Uh, it's been shipping since the beginning of the year. So just to let you know, we are currently shipping this product and we're really excited to tell you about it today. The Libra 8500 leverages, um, hold on one second, am I? Can you advance that slide, Matt? Thank you. The Libra 8500 leverages a modern Intel and Dell technologies and represents the next offering of the Libra, 8, Libra 8000 product line. The Libra 8500 products provide a significant performance boost over the 8400s. All 8500s have inbuilt high availability by virtue of redundant PM um, ISM and OPS components. Um, please note that Fabric is no longer an option and is not available with the 8500. ClearPath Forward has a lot of inherent values and you can see them listed here on the screen. And these values we really take to heart. Um, they include security, which is integrated completely into the product. It's designed in and not bolted on like you'll find in many other environments. Scalability, which is defined performance levels within the family growth without application changes. Integrity, with multiple software elements designed, tested, and supported as a whole, our MCP integrated stack. Manageability, centralized control of logical processing elements and performance levels. Interoperability, powerful software middleware and specialty solutions for connecting with industry standards. Flexibility, multiple workloads that are supported and, and different license buying models that are available um, for you to take advantage of with the 8500. And compatibility, application code and storage and data formats that are maintained um, through any product changes that we make. Our new 8500 ex expands our high-end performance of MCP application processing. It gives single thread performance of 1,000 MIPS, which is over 66% more um, than we had on the Libra 800 systems that we were shipping just a couple of years ago. Um, we introduced the Libra 8490 less than two years ago, and it's a 25% uh, performance improvement over the 8490 and a 43% improvement over the 8390. With a single image performance of 14,600 MIPS, it's a 27% performance gain over the 8490 and a 62% performance gain over the 8390. When and again, we're offering fully configured systems so that when you need to do a performance uh, increase, there's no additional hardware to buy. It's merely a software uh, increase that you would be um, utilizing in order to do that. When you look at a comparison of all of our Libra systems uh, from the past um, several years, you can see uh, the performance is significantly more on the Libra 8500. Something else that I want to point out here on the screen, you'll see a couple of estimated uh, boxes. In the coming months, we'll be introducing two more products that will be aimed at replacements or migrations, possible migrations or, or transitions for our Libra 4300s, um, 4200s, and our 6400s and 6300s. We're introducing a Libra 6500 and a Libra 4500 uh, in, in a couple of months. So, so be waiting for those. As you're aware, the ClearPath software strategy has several different elements. 
The first is to make ClearPath the best choice for mission-critical computing and retaining mission-critical attributes um, of performance, availability, and security. The second is to add new capabilities in the areas of application modernization, data center transformation, and security. These capabilities allow ClearPath to keep pace with evolving industry standards. Uh, we retain the mission-critical attributes and by adding capabilities based on industry standards, and we enable ClearPath to support additional Unisys solutions. So when we start specifically talking about the Libre 8500, we'll be offering it in two different business models, metered MIPS and capacity-based MIPS, just as we've had on the previous Libre 8500 models. Um, we're now utilizing Windows 2016 OS in the PMMs and ISMs, and we're only offering the MCP networking version 3. So native BNA is, is not, no longer supported with this platform. Um, and upon uh, when we release the system uh, this month, it only supports um, MCP 18 at this time, and we'll be adding MCP 19 as it becomes available um, later this year. The Libre 8500 uh, technology, uh, once again, it's a multi-server distributed architecture, just as we've had with our previous Libre platforms. Uh, we're utilizing the latest hardware technology though, and it's based on the Dell R740 with Skylake processors. It has redundant op servers and a high-speed Ethernet, which um, replaces PMMs and ISMs. The Melnox Connect X4 utilizing the network direct protocol. Um, so that's replacing the InfiniBand uh, Connect X3 card. It, you, it has 16 gigawatts of MCP memory and integrates via standard networking for a full range of 1 gigabit, 10 gigabit, and 40 gigabit Ethernet. The IO subsystem offers several options. There's a 40 gigabit Ethernet NIC that allows the system to connect to high-speed client networks. We offer a quad port 16 gigabit HBA card that doubles the number of high-speed storage connections that could be configured when you were using dual port cards. The number of storage LUNs has been increased to 4,095 and the IO subsystem can support over three times the number of IOs per second than a fully configured Libra 800 could. And this only requires two, uh, two two U Intel platforms in order to accomplish this I/O. We also have specialized Unisys firmware in the ISM that maintains data uh, format capability and previous with previous Libra I/O architectures. The Libre 8500 CPMs provide 1,000 MIPS of single thread performance, which is an increase of 200 MIPS over the Libre 8400. The single image performance of the Libre 8500 is 14,600, which is an increase of 3,100 MIPS. A Libre 8500 provides 16 CPMs, all running E-Mode ADA. The Libre 8500 is built <coughs> on the Unisys ES3000 model 3560G6 servers, and those are being used for the PMMs and the ISMs. We're utilizing the Intel Skylake CPUs. The PMM's physical memory is we have 24 gigabyte DIMMs for a total of 768 gigabytes. The Unisys 300, uh, 3000 model 3520R G5 is being used for the op servers at this time, and um, that will probably go through a change as, as uh, midlife for this system. Then networking cards that are available, we have a whole host of networking cards uh, offering both copper and optical interfaces. Uh, and as you can see, so you can have the choice for your particular environment. <clears throat> There's one 16 gigabit 
a four port fiber channel card that we are supporting and that will allow us to have up to 4,095 LUNs that are supported on the 8500. The PMMs and ISMs are connected by a 100 gigabit Ethernet card. Each PMM has two of these Mellanox ConnectX, uh, ConnectX4 cards to cross-connect with the ISMs. The op servers have an iDRAC 8 management card, and the ISM and, PSM and PMMs are using the iDRAC 9 management cards. As you can see, we're utilizing a distributed architecture for the Libra 8500. And it's Ethernet based instead of InfiniBand based. So you can see that uh, depicted here on our uh, architecture. And uh, once again, the hardware is completely sold and integrated by Unisys. It's a completely integrated architecture. And Unisys supports the entire architecture together. And it, any ePortal appliances are an optional feature for the Libra 8500. So I just want to briefly mention that we are coming out with a Libra 4580 and 4590. And this is going to be in conjunction with what we have for gold and also follow on uh, software series products that will be coming out. Our target for these two systems is a second quarter of this year. So just briefly to mention the Libra 4500 uh, first. It's utilizing the same high availability configurations as you have with the Libra 8500. So it's high, highly available PMMs, dual ISMs, a completely redundant infrastructure. The you have a choice of business models. So you'll have traditional fixed MIPS and a pay-for-use metered workload. You'll have expanded IOs with more high-speed storage connections and improved networking performance. And you'll have your choice of MCP workloads as you've had in the past. So you'll have A, B suite. You'll have a general purpose. You'll have development workloads. All the workloads that you've previously been able to have in the Libra environment. The Libra 6590 is utilizing the same hardware availability configurations with dual and redundant infrastructure. Um, but the business model, we're only offering a pay-for-use or metered workload um, on the 6590. And this is due to our client, um, our, our client demands. So um, the choice was made to only offer it with a metered workload. And to briefly talk about our software series uh, portfolio, I just want to mention a few of the products and, and go over them very quickly. Um, these are MCP environments as well. And um, we have had quite the evolution to get to where we are today with the ClearPath MCP software series. We're building on our Intel-based x86 reference architecture. And as you can see, we started way back on Intel with our Libra 400 series, and, and we've been climbing ever since um, to where we are today. We introduced gold back in October of 2017, and that is now a, a an option to what we'll be offering later this year with the Libra 4500. So um, you are going to have options between a ClearPath Libra environment uh, that's completely integrated by Unisys or the software series environment where you can have a flexibility within your organization to choose the hardware that you want to run on. When we look at what we are offering, for our ClearPass software series. Um, first, I want to mention our developer studio editions. Um, we started off small when we did this. Um, our personal edition is a single user that was a replacement for the LX180. This was an easy jump for Unisys to make um, because we were already running on a laptop with our LX180. 
We then introduced our standard edition, which allowed us to run on, on Windows servers. And as you can see, the standard edition offers uh, multiple users, and um, it has one or two test environments, and it runs on x86 servers. And you can have the option of running it on bare metal, VMware, uh, Hyper-V, Windows Server 2012, R2, or uh, Windows 2016. We also have Premium Edition, and this is what runs on our Libra. And the reason why we call this a, a developer studio, though it's running on a Libra system, is because it has all of the operating environment contents that we now have within Developer Studio. When we brought Developer Studio out, we made a decision to offer even more of our optional software that we would, would have been optional in the past and put it into the operating environment so that our clients would have a way to test and develop using a lot of different um, optional products that we have available. And so we integrated all of that into the packaging of the operating environment. So when we brought forth the premium edition, we included all of those into the operating environment. We also have our team edition, which once again is a bare metal x86 type of architecture um, that you can run VMware and Hyper-V in a Windows Server 2012 or 2016 environment, as well as uh, uh, as well as the bare metal that you would expect. We also have our bronze, silver, and gold. These are our production uh, products that we have available today. Uh, MCP Bronze is a user-based environment, um, much like what you had with the Libra uh, 400 environments, for example, the 450s, 460s, and 470s. And it's user-based, but it runs, you can run it on VMware or Hyper-V, and you can run it on the hardware of your choosing in your environment. We do recommend that you stick with the reference architecture um, and follow the recommendations that we uh, make available uh, on our uh, in our compatibility document on our support website. We also have MCP Silver, which again is a production environment, and we offer 10 different um, capacities on Silver now. Uh, when we first introduced it, we had two capacity sets, um, but we found that clients uh, either didn't need all of the performance that they were then purchasing, so we went ahead and we created different capacity sets and now have 10 different capacity sets that we're offering with Silver. And you can have up to 4 gigawatts of memory with silver and up to 2 CPMs. With MCP Gold, we took a little bit of a different approach, and we offer that in two different business models. Um, we have capacity-based, and we have um, consumption-based. Consumption is what our clients, um, it's similar to what we had with metering, except as you know, uh, our software series cannot be performance-based. So it's really capacity-based and the amount of MCP throughput that you can um, make within the environment. So we measure the production for the, uh, the um, we measure the uh, CPM seconds that are utilized and then we compare that against our, um, we, we use a calibrator in the background and we do a comparison against what our reference architecture would be to come up with the value that gold provides to our clients. So it's capacity-based and it's consumption-based in the marketing elements of that and the business models that are available to you. We get a lot of questions on support. Um, for our ClearPath release, releases uh, for software series. And so I just want to point out a, a couple of things. And um, uh, one of the first things I want to point out is um, if you want exact support information, um, please go out to support.unisys.com and take a look at the matrices that are available out there. Um, you'll be able to see all of the different levels that are supported with our ClearPath software series products. So, for example, um, you'll be able to look at what VMware environments are supported with what Windows level and what CSS level. And something that I want to point out here, um, you'll see that CSS 1.0 is listed in the green um, as far and it and it started shipping with our first uh, um, Dev Studio products back in 2015, um, and it's still supported and will be for up to a year or so after MCP 19 releases later this year. But we do recommend that instead of stay, stay, staying on a 
uh, software series product, a software series release level, that you move along your CSS level um, as we release them. We provide many different things as we release new CSS levels, um, security increases, um, all different kinds of features come along with the CSS releases. So we hope that you'll keep up to date with those just as you do with your MCP release levels. And again, for specific information, please go and check our, our support.unisys.com website. So in summary, our Clear Path Forward is in a state of transformation, and we have a lot of different products that are available now um, between Software Series and Libra. Our ClearPath Forward Libra platforms are continuing to provide hardware and software um, environments that are completely integrated. We have traditional delivery and support models for our Libra, um, for our Libra systems, and performance and capacity are explicitly defined. So if that's important to you, then Libra systems are continuing to offer it. For clients that want the flexibility um, that we can offer, we have the MCP uh, software series, and clients are allowed to select the infrastructure based on our recommendations of our reference architecture. You can run those on bare metal, or you can choose to run it in a hypervisor or private cloud type of environment. We want you to know that we're working towards public and hybrid clouds uh, environments in our future, so be looking for announcements on that later on. Um, and we're continuing to increase the performance and capacity for the software series environments. Each of these have varying levels of initial deployment and change and flexibility. Um, we offer availability and failover characteristics that are unique to both of these different environments. And um, support, support responsibilities vary between these two as well. So we hope that we've answered a lot of questions for you here today. And with that, I'm going to turn this over to Steve Koss, who is the global team lead for our ClearPath uh, Forward Product Services and Solutions. Thank you, Trudy. Um, so I want to talk to you today uh, fairly briefly about ClearPath Forward Services. Uh, that's our ability to help you take the best advantage of all that cool stuff that Trudy just talked to you about, from our fastest system all the way down to our, our software-based uh, development systems. Uh, hold on. Okay. So as you get in your, your new Libre 8500, the first thing, of course, is we need to get it installed and up and running. The ClearPath Forward Implementation Services, our basic service and our comprehensive service, does exactly what it's done on all the previous systems. We'll get the system set up for you. We'll get your data over. We'll get the applications over. We'll make sure it's on the right patch levels and, and on the latest version of the software. And make sure you're happy and things are running uh, before we turn the system over to you. But that's not where we stop, of course. Um, you want to look at your storage environment. Is, are there things you want to do uh, if you're getting a new storage system to migrate that storage over, we can help you with that. We can help you uh, reorganize your storage and maybe a more efficient way, take advantage of some of the new features. Uh, maybe you weren't using data encryption in the past. We could look at uh, helping you with that as well. So get the system up and running. Now, beyond that, there's a lot more that ClearPath Forward Services offers you. Uh, specifically around the, the platform itself, uh, we can help you improve your automation uh, to help the system run as hands-off as possible, as efficiently as possible, improve the integration between your ClearPath and other environments. Some of the, some of the things that I, I want to talk to you about is as you're getting a new system in, this is one of the best times to think about how do I want to continue to deal with the ongoing operations and administration of the environment going forward? When you think about um, your current skill set, your current staffing, um, your pressures and, and budget restraints and being able to optimally use your IT resources, 
are there things that Unisys can help? And we have a broad suite of services from hosted managed services where we'll host your environment for you, we'll fully manage it, fully control the environment, take over all the responsibilities for that remote management um, where the system's still on site with you, and we can manage either all of it or part of it remotely and do it very cost effectively. Um, staff augmentation, you know, maybe you have some people who are leaving and, um, and you don't want to uh, necessarily hire new people. We can provide you that staffing on site. Um, we can also provide you remote capabilities. So maybe you just need somebody to monitor your databases and maybe make suggestions here or there. We can do all of that remotely and very cost effectively. So we can help you decide what's the best way to deal with your platform going forward, whether it's we, we as Unisys doing that for you on a day-to-day -day basis, working in conjunction with you, or just helping you automate that environment so you and your staff um, does it as efficiently as possible. Now, when you look beyond that, you know, we can look at things through our ClearPath Forward appraisal services by looking at your IT organization, what can be done to help you better automate it, better integrate, as I mentioned earlier, put together plans uh, for a roadmap for, for better integrating your environment with your surrounding systems. Maybe it's a big data environment you need to you need to integrate with. Maybe it's web services or microservices. We can help you with all of that. From a, uh, a consulting perspective, we, we run innovation workshops. Innovate, ClearPath Innovation Workshops provide us an opportunity to get together our subject matter experts, as well as your business people, your IT people, your subject matter experts, to figure out what is the best way forward for you to meet your business needs. Um, whether it's a need in, in staffing, whether it's a need in integration, whether it's a need in automation, whether it's a need in uh, better analysis of the environment, all of those things can be built out of an innovation workshop and create a roadmap for you for things that, that you can do to help improve your environment on your own and things where Unisys services may be able to help you as well. We can also help you better understand your environment with our TCO assessments, where we look at what is the real TCO, what is the real cost when you add the IT, the infrastructure, the facility, to decide what is the best way to deploy and what is the best way going forward for you as well, and to understand all of the value that you truly get out of your ClearPath environment. In addition, you know, you're getting this really fast system, um, you know, the biggest ClearPath system we, we've created. You know, as you've grown over time, there are things that can be done to better optimize the environment and do things more cost effectively. So we have performance studies, performance services that can help you there as well. I focused mainly around the platform here, but again, end to end between the system, the management of the system, the applications, the integration, all of the surrounding environment that goes with your ClearPath, Unisys is there to help you. We're there to assist you and we're there to help you decide what the best way forward for your organization is as well. So that was a very, very quick overview of ClearPath services. Feel free to contact your client executive, your sales executive, or your account rep. Talk to them about maybe doing an innovation workshop or doing an appraisal so we can see what is the best way forward for you and how you can best take advantage of your your ClearPath environment. With that, I want to point you to some additional information. Um, Unisys.com uh, is, is the Unisys website, and it's been restructured and is a lot easier to find information on. Uh, the information on the, on the Libra systems and the Libra 8500 is out there. If you go to Unisys.com, just click on offerings, click on ClearPath Forward, click on Libra Systems, and you'll see 
all the information out there on the Libra systems as well as the Libra 8500. All of our technical documentation is available on support.unisys.com. It's all Google searchable. In fact, everything we have is Google searchable. So if you want to find out some information on the Libra 8500, you know, you can simply go to Google and type in Unisys Libra 8500 or 8580. You'll find information or any of our particular technical documents as well. The Clear Path Forward newsletter, a great source for new information uh, that comes out several times a year. Lots of really good articles in there. If you haven't subscribed to it, please subscribe to it. Um, we also have uh, an AB Suite news newsletter, uh, our agility newsletter, uh, to help you better understand the EAE and AB, AB Suite product suites, as well as our uh, Clear Path Forward blog. So please take advantage of those. Um, at this point, if you have any questions, please feel free to enter them in the chat window and, uh, and we will get the answers to you. If you, um, at, at this point, I'm going to turn it back over uh, to Trudy to, uh, to host and close things out. So thank you, everyone. Actually, I just want to thank everybody for joining us today. We're really excited about everything that our engineers have been able to accomplish with bringing the Libra 8500 forward to market. So we're excited to introduce this product to you, and we hope that you have found this information uh, relevant to what it is that you're doing today. Thank you all very, very much for attending.